Oh. This is a Welly, AKA a Wellington boot. I know I mentioned this a couple of videos ago, but if you call this a gum boot or a rubber boot or anything other than a Wellington boot, that's fine. You're wrong and you have to live with yourself knowing that, but that's your problem, not mine. In fact, I can prove you're wrong. Come on, come on. Where are you? Okay, confession time. I was looking for a beef Wellington here, but Morrison's really let me down. But the reason I was looking for a beef Wellington is because it's not a beef gum, it's not a beef rubber. That's a beef rubber. So why am I talking so much about Wellington boots? Well, a couple of weeks ago I made this video. A video where I reacted to a Q&A by Robbie Knox where he said he was going to answer one of my questions. He didn't. In a blind rage, I did the only thing any reasonable person would do in this situation. I went into the garage, grabbed a pair of wellies, and I laid down a challenge to Robbie Knox. Now, Robbie, you better get familiar with one of these because I am challenging you to the challenge of all challenges, the sport that separates the boys from the men. I'm talking about welly wanging. That's right. I challenged Robbie Knox to see who could throw a Wellington boot the furthest, and I suspected that he wasn't gonna be man enough to take up my challenge. But then this happened. Hi John, Robbie Knox here. I saw your video, it's good. Sorry, I, I, I messed up with the q and I just wasn't very good at admin. I'll check a welly with you though. Just come round, just come round to a field and I don't know, you bring the wellies and I'll bring me. So yeah, let's do it. Quick confession, I actually asked Robbie to send this video after the event. I just figured it would make for a more compelling video than the Twitter conversation we actually had. But now I've wasted time explaining this, so... Anyway, I packed my bag, grabbed some wellies, made sure I was in my element, and travelled to a random country park in Kent. So I'm here in Kent in... what did you call this place? The Kent Downs out... The Kent Downs Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty is the rather arrogant title. One that we would probably be okay being applied to yeah. ourselves. I'd love to be the Robbie of Outstanding <laughs> Natural Beauty. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. So we're about to finally find out which of us can throw a welly furthest and we're just waiting for Jack to turn up and then we're going to crack on with the video. Who's Jack? Is he a cameraman? No, he's in Jack. Jack. Jack, mate? Is he, he not, is he not coming? Did you not say he was? Oh, from, no, no, I didn't, I didn't realise you wanted him. I think he's on an aeroplane. He's been on an aeroplane for about three days now, I think. I kind yeah. of assume because you were friends with him. Huh. I mean, right, well. What's in the bag? Uh, well, it does, it's, it's gonna seem silly now. I just don't know what I'm gonna do with this now. Right. Okay, let me explain. At the beginning of the video, you may remember I was in a supermarket looking for a beef wellington, only to find they had none. Well, that was disappointing, but it's not all I came in here for. I'd also gone in there to buy a cake. You see, Robbie and Jack mate have become close over the years, and I assumed that if Robbie wanted to meet up, he'd bring Jack too. I thought this would be a great opportunity to finally settle our rivalry over who's the best YouTuber in East Anglia. So I got Charlie to ice the cake with a message of friendship. This cake. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say I'd give it to him, but he's not, I mean, I probably won't. I, I don't mean, I've only, never met you before and you might have pissed in it or something. Right. Well, I guess I won't, won't need that then. Disappointed! It's tradition on my channel to, uh, to have a, a, a drink a of this. A can of uh, pussy. So if you could just, if you, if you don't mind, if you could just hold that up to the camera and um, uh, take a sip and... So and have just, you got like a brand deal with them then or something? I'm, I'm hoping to have a brand deal with okay. them. Okay. So if you just take a sip and, and just say to the camera um, your thoughts. 100% natural ingredient. Mm. Tastes of, like a mix of like kids drinks and battery acid. Right. Well, what we usually do now is I'll say like, I'll come up with a slogan, I'll say like, pussy and then there'll be some sort of like innuendo in there you know like okay, um pussy um sweeter than you think or something like that so if you uh if you've got anything rank rank okay Am I following you? I was worried that potential future sponsor pussy wouldn't be happy with this answer so i asked robbie to give another go it actually tastes like it tastes like someone who's made a drink trying to make it taste like fruit who's never had fruit in their entire life before. Better. 
sort of. Right, so Robbie's gonna have a test throw here. A see warm how. Up. Have you done? Have you done this before? No, never done this before. This wasn't strictly true. In fact, it wasn't true at all. Not only had I been watching hours of welly wanging footage online, but I'd also been training hard. learned how to become one with the welly and watched hours of Robbie Knox videos to try and do everything in my power to get inside his mind. Yeah, it's exciting times today because it's bin day. It's bin day. Time to take out the trash. Underarm, yeah? Underarm. That's how Prince Harry did it. He done it. Yeah, there's a video of channel. him doing it, yeah. Oh. I'll insert it here now. Okay. I really thought that was gonna get further. <laughs> I was gonna get at least twice that. Was that you trying to get it as far as you possibly could? No, it wasn't far off, yeah. Ten to fifteen meters. Right, well I guess I better get a practice in. So John's gonna have a little practice go now, we'll see how that goes. Have right. you done this before? I've uh, I've never done this before. Right, let's have a get go. <laughs> that's quite a close run thing. I thought you were going to absolutely smash me, but that's. I mean, you're just ahead there, but it's pretty close. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Do you know any of the rules or anything of welly wangy? Like, is it like best of three, or do we get one go each? Or um, what? You not really thought this through, have you? you just got in the car and come down here with I, a cake I just, and some wellies. I, I just came down with a cake which um, has gone to waste, and oh. uh, let's not talk about the cake. It was at this point I decided to talk to Robbie about the bag I brought the cake in. The, the reason I got the bag is um, the cake, which I don't really want to talk about, but I actually bought that in Morrison's. But um, a little tip when you're going to a supermarket is to take a, a bag from a rival shop. So this is a Sainsbury's bag for life. It's just something I do just to let them know that I've got options and you know hopefully yeah. they'll treat me a bit better. So do you, do you, I don't have a nectar card because I don't want them to rest in their laurels and think I'm loyal to them. Exactly, exactly. Um, I do have uh, a Morrison's Moor card though so I don't know but I don't let them know that not no. until not until the last minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now this may seem like absolute waffle, but there's method to my madness. You see, at this point I'm trying to lull Robbie Knox into a full sense of security. He thinks I'm there for a casual welly wang, but I'm actually there to crush him. Right, I've decided to um, try and make <coughs> Sorry, this... Sorry, I just coughed. No, that's fine. I mean, I've, you've, you've done this, yeah? Yeah, 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 I've done, yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I knew I needed to cough, I thought I'll get it out now, so if you wanted to start that bit again, you can, or you can leave it in, it's up to you. No, I think, I think we'll leave it in, just right. to let, let people know. Um, but to, in, in order to try and make this a bit more official, I've, I've you got a marker for us to throw from, so we can at least be throwing from the, the same, the same point. Yep. Um, and like, is it, are we going along a straight line, or is it the furthest distance from here, or what? The videos I've seen online have got someone with a, a, a rope, to sort of measure oh, how right. far oh, it's gone, but, but we don't have that, so um, I think we're just going to have to like pace it out. If it's not clear, we'll have to work out. We'll have to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. All right. I've got two receipts. Oops. You pick a receipt, and which if you've got the one that's for the highest amount, you go first. Right. Okay. Is that a good system? That sounds like an excellent system. So I'm going to go go for this hand. I think you've won there. That's my uh, trip to the dentist's uh, receipt. It's £22.70 cost. So that was like £7.50 or something. So, okay, John, here we go. First first throw of the competition. First of three. Put into it. Go we go. Oh, that felt, that looked good. It felt like it was too low. It, it seems to slip out of my hands quite early on. It felt too low. I feel but, like um, if we'd had a bit more training, we could be quite good at this, but I think it's quite hard. The, the weight's in the wrong part of the welly, isn't it? The weight's in the front, it's already leaving your hand. Yeah. You. The other thing I was trying to figure out is do I go heel first or toe first? So oh, that's gosh. something to consider as well. So just so there's no confusion, I'm the left welly in case there's any arguing later on. Right, here we go. He's going toe first, so that's getting interesting. Toe first, because I feel the weight of the heel is going to help it spin, right? Really? Oh, that felt good. 
Oh, oh wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, obviously, guys, I was going to let Robbie win the first throw. I needed him to think that I wasn't really that bothered about whether or not I won, and I knew we were going to do best of three. We either say best of three, but also I want to know if we can beat that, so maybe we do put a marker. Oh, put a can of pussy down. Yeah, a can of pussy, can that will work. Imagine being in that meeting where they were going, what we're going to call our drink. Brilliant. What do you do, the furthest part of the welly? Or the furthest part of the furthest welly. part of the welly, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, this can of pussy is the furthest point so far. Do you, th do you think I should go first this time so that it's fair on you? Because maybe you'll be spurred on if you've got a target to beat. Yeah, I think I think that's probably sensible. And should I and swap I'll... wellies as well? So there's, just in case one wellies... Yeah, because I kind of, I, I didn't want to say it then, but I secretly suspect that the... Um, the left welly might be a bit heavier. Okay. Hopefully I'll hit the pussy. I think I'm too far back, I can get a few more inches. Yeah, you can toe toe to the line, that's fine. Oh, that, uh... oh no! Oh, that's what I keep doing. You've let go of that a little bit too early. early. It's wide open, there's a great opportunity for you to tie the series. Come on, John, dig deep. Oh, he's done it! He's broke, he's got a head! <laughs> oh! Success! The plan was starting to come together. He's absolutely far ahead of the pussy. So that was the old target, and that's where we are now. So shall I move the pussy? I think we need to move the pussy. Pussy. Oops. Oh no. Spilt some pussy. That's all right. You'll see a huge mega plant there next year. At this point, I started getting into his head. My confidence is gone now. I think that was such a big throw. Do you know what? I'm going to get down there so I can get the action shot of it arriving, okay? Absolutely. Just down here. Okay. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's not as good as last time, though. It's, it's good. It's further than my first throw. Do you know what? If that means I'm in first and second, I'm happy with that. Is it like Patonk? Is that how it works? The closest to the jack? Is that how Patonk works? I don't know. Is patonk the right word? Is patonk the same as bull? I think so. Can I just say, this This is a real slope that we're on here, isn't it? Because it looks like on the on the video that I'm holding the camera at the wrong angle because it's all slopey, but it's actually the ground that's slopey, not my camera work. And and what I want, you know, welly-wanging enthusiasts to be aware of is we're actually at a disadvantage because I feel like we're throwing slightly uphill. Yeah. So you can only imagine what it would be like if it was flat. Yeah. Um, we're putting down sort of fairly professional um, yeah. throws here, so... I'm gonna, take I'm, gonna my, get... I'm gonna take my coat off for this one. He means business, right. Let's hope he doesn't do it. He doesn't know I've been training. Let's hope he doesn't fuck it up. Can I have a run up? Maybe it was a step, can I step into it? Go on, you can step in, you can have a step in. Ah, he's gone too high. Oh no! From hero to zero! Gutted. Gutted. Do you know what? I thought that was my sport. And so it was done. The training had paid off and I had defeated Robbie Knox. I could now put the rivalry behind me and move forward. Right, so there you have it. I have thoroughly embarrassed Robbie Knox after he snubbed me in his Q&A video. Um, and I he, deserved that. I yeah. deserved that because I did snub you. And he blamed poor admin, but we all saw it as the snub it was. Yeah. Um, anyway, if you like this video, be sure to like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And um, usually at the end of my videos, I, I tell my audience to, to piss off. So if you, if you fancy it, I normally flip off the camera. It's... Um, yeah. Piss off. The boy John, the boy John, the boy John. By the way, guys, I forgot to say, uh, if you want to say happy birthday to Robbie, you can do so. Um, is it your birthday? No, it's in April. But yeah, say happy birthday. Please.